Buonasera from San Gimignano. All right, guys, this town was nicknamed the Manhattan of the Middle Ages, and we just had to see it because it's a very cool ancient town about an hour and a half out of Florence. And it was pretty easy for us to get to. Uh, we had a bus transfer, but that was it. And now we are exploring. So this is, I think, the more regular side of town, but we'll go back through this tunnel here and show you guys how beautiful the Manhattan of the Middle Ages really is. We just had a good piece of pizza too. It's delicious. Delicious. Nice and full. We're energized. That was kind of our breakfast, I guess. First meal yeah. of the day. Pizza for breakfast, only in Italy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they don't eat pizza for breakfast. They eat croissants. Here we are. <laughs> First thing we've seen when we walked in was a museum of torture. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's so. another one right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. Isn't that the same one? No, this is the second museum of torture. There's another one right down there. All right. We're going to walk around a bit, and we may just go back and hit that up. I want to go. So. I'm going to yeah. end up going to mm -hmm. see the museum of torture. <laughs> Let's go away from the other tourist. Oh, you can't really see past that wall. Let me try and let me try and get you guys a view. I guess I can't see anything. <laughs> Hope that looked nice. I don't know what you guys seen, but you seen what I couldn't. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of nudists here. Yeah. We've been on the uh, the couch surfing website quite a bit. And uh, Italians like to get freaky. And I naked. Yeah, naked. I don't know if it's because we're American and maybe... They got a little thing for Americans I don't know, yeah, what, may maybe. They've definitely been barking up our tree. Yeah, so whenever we hit someone up on couch surfing, we have to tell them. Look at we're not in to know freaky shit. <laughs> we don't want to get naked with you. Yeah, at least not that. I don't know where this is going to take us. <laughs> I don't see any other tourist up here. This someone's house? This might be someone's house. Yeah, this is someone's yard. Sorry. Let's not go up here. I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while Amanda's in the restroom, I'm going to show you guys these hills. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of like an old medieval San Francisco. A little bit of a workout walking up and down these hills. service. I can't stand these masks. Oh, I can't wait to look back at these videos. Makes me almost not even want to go in those like restaurants and stores. Yeah. If you have to put a mask yeah, on. Yeah, makes me want to stay outside. Yeah. I want to even less now that I have there. Hold this please. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Is it okay if I record? This is this this village? Yes. A replica of the town that we're in. San Gimignano.
this little lady. He's moving a barrel around. center kind of thing. Take a look. Where's this? Oh, it's closed. This might have been a water well maybe. Private property. People still live here. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's crazy. To be able to live <laughs> here. That was history. making music with wine cups and water. Pretty neat. It's pretty touristy over here. Yeah, more touristy than I thought for sure, but it is Saturday, yeah. so it could be way worse. Yeah, definitely. A lot of stuff that we want to we want to buy and take back home. We can't. But the way we, we travel, it's we're kind of already It's so packed. sad. We can't really fit anything else in our backpacks. So. It's so sad because like so much of the stuff is like just so cool. Yeah. But we don't we don't um, check bags because it just makes our lives a lot easier and we have two small backpacks and that's it. And the thing about that is it makes everything easier but you can't take anything back with you. So like knives and you know plates and all that kind of stuff. It's impossible. Yeah. We would have to find somewhere to ship it back to the States. So. The lines. That's like the coolest thing. That they dry the clothes out. We gotta avoid, avoid the tourist, even though we are tourists. <laughs> yeah, I'm really different kind of tourist. I think everyone probably recognizes each other. Knows each other. Sure. Let's see what they got. Oh, this is expensive. But this is all like top notch food, as you can see. So, like, bisteca is steak. So, there's like filet, filets. Like the spaghetti and the pasta. That's like twice the price of everywhere we've been. All right, so McDonald's it is. <laughs> yeah, let's go to McDonald's in San Germagiano. So we made it to the Medieval Torture Museum. Let's go check it out. Skinning cat.
Okay, so there's a lot to read. All I'm gonna do is show you guys the um, torture device, and I'm gonna let you guys pause the video and read it because I don't feel like reading every single one of these. I don't either. So, <laughs> you guys a, are on your own for it's that. It's a lot to read. Plus, we can't just stand here all day. <laughs> so. All right, Some kind of funnel and they're pouring something in her mouth the water torture you guys can read that this one is called Spanish spiders This one. Look at his tongue. Ooh. Oh my god. So these right here were supposedly potions that the witches used to use to uh, turn men into animals as well as kill them by slowing the heartbeat, altering or clouding the mind visions, I guess like, make them hallucinate. That's crazy. Did you see one more over here too? <clears throat> yeah, there's there a sign of the beast? According to... Hmm. Yeah, these are all different witch potions. <sighs> they need to bring all this back for the pedophiles we have. I concur with that statement. Yeah. Cause this is scary. I'm sure this would scare scare people away from doing bad things. Yeah. This was called the Judas Cradle. They would have somebody sit on top of that, just like in that photo, and they would put pressure on them coming down. So you can only imagine what happens. We have this whole torture room to ourselves. It's pretty cool. So this is the rack where they put your arms up there and they pull you by your legs and it pulls all of your bones out of the sockets. It's not disturbing at all. You can only imagine, oh this one's for children. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. 
think we're going to go check out the other torture museum too, which is about the death penalty. So just keep watching if you want to see that too. You guys, we are at the second part of the museums. For 10 euros, you can go into both of these. This one is the death torture museum. Yeah, there was medieval torture. We paid 20 euros, but you get to go in for free. <laughs> <laughs> Punishment color. Oh shit, they put him in they put him in the jacket and then let a bear attack him. Did I just read that right? That's pretty metal. <laughs> I dig it. Feels good down here. Air conditioning. That's AC. Natural AC. Did you guys sit on that? Oh, it's terrible. Oh, the, the Iron Maiden. I know this one. <laughs> yeah, we all know this one. Only Americans. This is being filleted alive. Right. Gotta burn the witch. So that was it. That was the torture museum here in Italy. Hope you liked it, at least a little bit. I thought it was pretty cool. Let's see what's behind this curtain. Nothing. Nothing. If you guys uh, enjoyed the video at all, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. My favorite. For more adventures with Billy and Mandy. Okay, so we might actually not be leaving. We don't know where to buy bus tickets at. So, we might be stranded here. We'll see. It's nice though. There is the tabaccaio. Okay. Cigarette and ticket to bus. Okay, that's it. Okay. Prego. Ciao. Yo también lo creo, eh. Bueno, por eso. Super bien. Five and twenty.